So here we have what? The equation of a curve is given to you by this. Okay? Now, part one, express this equation in the form of this. So pretty easy. Stating the values of a and b. So first thing first, we have y equal to 8x minus x squared. Now, I have to rewrite this as minus x squared plus 8x. Now we have to first verify the coefficient of x squared is 1. Here it is minus 1. So we have to factorize the value of minus 1. So y will be minus 1 outside. It will have x squared minus 8x. So now we can proceed because now we have 1 here. We can proceed with the next steps. You have minus 1. Here we have x squared minus 8x. Here we have to add a value. The value will be the value here, which is 8 divided by 2 squared. Now, when you add something, you also have to minus the same value. So minus 8 over 2 squared. Now, because it was inside the bracket, we have also to give it the value of minus 1. That makes sense, right? Now, let's see what else. So this, obviously, will be this. And let's see it simplify. That will be minus 1. Here we have x. And here we have minus. Here we have 4. And that will be this. So this will become this. Again, because here we have x squared, so here we have x, we have to write x. Here we have minus, we have to write minus. Inside we have 4, we write 4. Here we have square, we have to write square. Now here we have what? 4 squared is 16. Minus, minus become plus. So here you have comparison, that will be, uh, we have 16 minus x minus 4 squared. By comparing, this is your value of a, and this is your value of b. So a will be? The value of 16 and b will be the value of minus 4 by comparison now for part 2 hence or otherwise find the coordinates of the stationary point of the curve so hence we have means we have to use this otherwise you don't need to it is up to you so let's see let's choose to not use this for now for example how would you find the stationary point of a curve you know that at the stationary point what do we know dy by dx have to be 0. So let's find this. That will be 8 minus 2x have to be 0, right? That will be 2x have to be the value of 8, x have to be the value of 4. Now, for x equal to 4, y will be what? 8 times 4 is 32 minus 16, that will be 16. So the minimum point have to be 4 and 16. However, now, if you want to use this result, very easy, the value at the end will always be the y value. This is y. This happens when this have to be equal to 0, which means x equal to value of 4. Again, you can see we can use that to find the stationary point. So that will be the stationary point was x equal to 4, y was equal to 16. Now again, we can see clearly because here we have minus x squared plus 8x. Because the coefficient of x squared is negative, it will be a maximum point. So again, we don't need to know this here. But this is for your own good if you guys have to state if it is a maximum or a minimum point. Now for part 3 of the question, we have to find the set of values of x for which y is more than minus 20. So let's solve this. So y is given to you by this one. So here we have x minus 4 squared. Here are minus plus 16 had to be more equal to minus 20. So simplify. So we send this over here. That will become what? x minus 4 squared more equal to the value of minus 36. So x minus 4 squared divided by minus 1, the sign will change. That will be 36. Now let's find the critical values. x minus 4 can be equal to plus minus 6. x can be the value of 10. x can be the value of what? Minus 2. Okay, so here we have the two critical values. Now we have to find the values of x, the set of values of x for which we have. This will be minus 2 and 10. Because here we know the shape of the graph at this point will be, again, the same shape here. Because at this point here, it was a 
minimum curve, right? At this point, we look at the coefficient is plus one. Of course, here it is negative, it will be the other shape around, but here we look, it will be in this shape. Now, the value needs to be less than, less will be below, right? So this is only possible when x will be between the values of minus two and 10. So this will be your answer for part three of the question. Again, this question comes up pretty often in ad math. I hope you guys have uh, done ad math because it will be very helpful for this question. Now moving on to part three, the function g is given by this for more than x has to be more than the value of four. Again, we realize g of x is the same thing as the function here, which is the same equation. That's what is down. g of x was given to you, is given to you by eight x minus x squared. We know this is also 16 minus the value of x minus four squared. It was found in part one, right. Now moving on, we have to state a domain and the range of this. So we have to find g inverse, no, we don't have to find, we just have to find the domain and range. So pretty easy. So first thing first, we have to realize that the range of g inverse is the same thing as domain of g. And the domain of g inverse is the same thing as range of g. So let's find out. So first thing first, to find the range of g inverse, we know the domain of g. So domain of g was given to you by this one. Domain is the x values. So it was given to you by x is more equal to four. However, range have to be in terms of y. So your answer will be y have to be this for the range of g inverse. Now moving on, we have to find the domain of g inverse. It is same as the range of g. Now pretty easy. We know the graph shape of g, g is the graph is what? It is a maximum curve, something like this, right? And the maximum point here for the y value was found to be 16, right? This is the, say this is the point actually, maximum point, not minimum point, maximum point. Okay, so that will be this. So we know that we realize that this value occurs when, obviously, x equal to four, but the range is only the y value. So what is the y values of g? As you can see, g can be anything equal to 16 and less, right? Can be from this point and going down, so and less. Range of g is y is less or equal to 16. From this, you conclude that x, because domain is in terms of x, again, the goal here is to find domain and not range. So domain is x and range is y, so we don't care about the y values here we care about the domain. So domain have to be less or equal to 16. So again, as a note, when you have to find range, it means the y values. When you have to find domain, it means the y or x values. Now again, we are trying to use these values here to help us find these ones. So we know the domain of G is x more than four given to you by the question. Now to give the answer for the range has to be y. So y have to be more than four. Same thing here we realize the range of g is y is less than or equal to 16 according to the graph. Now to give the answer, it is a domain. Domain has to be in terms of x. So we go back, x have to be less than 16. That will be part four of the question. Now for part two, we have to find an expression for g inverse. So step by step, we have to let y equal to g inverse. That will be 16 minus x minus four squared. Now we have to make x become the subject of the formula. So let's first send this over here. You will have x minus four squared. That will be 16 minus y. x minus four, that will be plus minus root of 16 minus y. And then eventually we will have x have to be four plus root of 16 minus y. So we have to choose which one was correct because as defined by the values of x here, it has to be more than four. So it has to be, x has to be more than four. So x has to be this plus this one, 16 minus one. But finally, we know that g inverse, it is in terms of x. So we have to write four plus root of 16 minus x. 
This will be your answer for the last part of this question. This is the question regarding the chapter of function.